Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. I know it's been a while since, I, um, since I've done one of these, but uh, I plan to at least try to do one a week um, from here on out, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I hope we can, we can get that rolling again. Uh, so I really miss doing these. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started into today's tutorial here. Um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to, um, how to get uh, sword trails working with um, dynamic combat system weapons or items or whatever or maybe just any item trails um, an idea came up from this from someone in uh, the dynamic combat or DCS server um, on discord and a new pack came out with sword trails and whatnot in it and I just thought it'd be kind of a cool little thing to show you guys it's really simple but you know some people don't haven't messed with the anim trails yet and they don't maybe they're they're just getting this pack now and they want to try it out so I'm gonna do it with that pack that just came out for free this month and we'll go from there but uh, yeah okay so the first thing you're gonna to want to do um, I'm only gonna do this one main way uh, it, it's you know it's, there's really it's, there's some other ways you could do it through animation but I'm gonna do it the simplest way this video and then maybe um, in future videos I can elaborate on it a little bit or just kind of kind of explain in further detail you could do other things with it so let's go ahead and go down here in your um, BP combat character which would go in you know dynamic combat system blueprints and our character would be in here right and we'll go we'll scroll down here um, to our interfaces get montages and now here we'll see all our montage data tables that we're using for the character. Um, I'm just going to go browse to the melee one, which is right here. Uh, this is just an easier way to get to it because you know it's all laid out already, so you don't have to go if you have it renamed or anything like that. Um, you can make as many of these as you want um, and use different animations and whatnot, obviously. I'm just going to do a few animations this video um, for the sword so or the one-handed uh, melee animations. So I'll go ahead and open up one of these montages. I already have all my montages all set, so you know you probably want to get that all sorted first and make sure they all work and whatnot, and then proceed with this. But uh, let's go ahead and open up these, or I'll open up this one first. Now what I'm going to do is on the side here, I'm going to go ahead and go to notifies. I'm going to hit track and add a notify track here. Now you, if you have an existing notify track you want to use, you can. Um, I just uh, for the sake of this video, I'm adding a new track, so that way I know what I did easier. Um, you could add it to an existing one, you know, and you could kind of mix it around and whatnot, but, um, because I know you don't, you probably don't want to have too many tracks on there, but, um, you'd probably want to, first off, we'll pause this, and let's go ahead and, um, click on our track that we just made, so it's down here, so we'd right-click in this area down here where this track is. Add notify state, and we'll type in trail and this is going to be for our animation trail now we can drag this so let's go ahead and play the animation here actually let me do this let me use a slider here it's probably easier to do that usually you're going to want to add anim trails about the time they're just getting ready to swing so if you're going to do something like this um, like a sword trail or melee animation trail you probably want to do this uh, there's already um, some notifies in here I made for like sounds and whatnot so um, and I think there's one in DCS that by default that's the hitbox that triggers the damage but um, yeah so this is probably where you're gonna want to add that um, you can extend it if you want to go on a little bit farther but that really doesn't I mean it doesn't matter too much it's just it, it depends on how you're using the trail I'll elaborate that elaborate on that in, um, in future videos as well but let's go ahead and um, you don't have to drag this out you can just leave it like, like that uh, let's go ahead and search for our trail. Let's actually go to the folder here. So I'm going to go back to my content folder, scroll all the way down. And I have that animation pack right here. It's a trail pack. You can go particles. Um, and I'll have this... Uh, actually, no, this is free. So you guys can just go look this up on the, on the front page. So um, yeah, you guys can try this out for yourself. Um, you will see it in there. It's one of the free assets. It's called VFX pack or effects trail pack or something like that vfx trail pack so let's go ahead and add that trail to it um, or the particle 
Now, um, since this is a trail, we're going to have our first socket name and our second socket name specified. For this video, I'm just going to use um, my right hand socket. Um, so let me actually let me show you guys in case you don't know. We'll just go to the skeleton here. So we'll click skeleton right here. So I'm slamming doors in my house. And right hand is where we're going to start. Um, so we'll right click copy selected bone name um, and put that as our first socket in the second socket. And see, I'm just trying to already find it there. This The second socket is the sword use which is you know the the actual um sword so you can you can kind of go and blend between two different sockets however you like i'm just doing this for this video since it's it's the simplest oh my god i think i can just type it in yeah you can just type it too and select it from the list if you don't want to go copy names i just usually i'll copy names just to make sure i'm doing it right so let's go ahead and drag this out so you see how that affects this now. I was trying to kind of explain this in the beginning. So yes, it does matter. Um, this matters a lot in Anim Trails. This just tells you how long it's playing, right? So you can see I hover over it. Um, it even tells you um, this is playing at 0.737 seconds, frame 22 for 0 0.74, 0 0.76, or 76 seconds. Let's just say that. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so that it's playing for that amount of time at that um, point in the frame, or the frames, frames. Uh. So let's go ahead and play that again, so it works perfectly. And if I wanted to swap that out, I could just go back. So let's maybe go to uh, Soul and Sword Trail. Um, now make sure you're using trail um, particles for this that have, when you open a, Anim trail particle up, you'll see inside of it that it has anim trail data in it. If your particle doesn't have any anim trail data in it, it will not work for this. You have to have anim trail data in your particle um, effect or anim trail um, in order for it to work for an anim trail, obviously. So you don't want to be just putting random particles in there and expecting it to work um, like I did when I first did this years ago. So now let me play. Got a soul trail. So that's that. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it, guys. Um, that's all I wanted to show you um, for this video. And yeah, now you got the sword trails up in your up in your game here. So let's go to play. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Ooh. Okay. There we go. There we go. I was like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it's playing in the second animation, but you can see it's working. Also, I want to show you guys one more thing. If you go ahead and go back to your montage here and you click the trail, you can actually visualize a few things here if you want to debug um, certain things with your anim trail. You can render spawn points, tangent, t tangents, excuse me, and tessellation if you'd like. Um, basically, what rendering spawn points will do is it'll just it'll render where exactly the um, particle or anim trail is spawning and where it ends you can kind of see that there or this is where it spawns and you know it ends up over here more towards the other socket um, you could also again render tangents which renders the oh, renders the tangents for the kind of see that there in the yellow all right so yeah that that's a few things you can do you can also do the tessellation but we'll, we'll, we'll go on that in a, in a different video Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully we can do more of these. Uh, this is a quick little one, just to kind of help you guys out. And uh, peace, guys. Have a good day.